Hi, something strange happened on the way to becoming a YouTuber. I uploaded my 1,000th video. Do you believe it or not? This is it right now. Not my 1,000th official video. Of course, I'm up to like 850 something like that. I don't know, I forget. Well, becomes a bit of a blur. But anyway, um, was 999. Here's a shot of that. And this will be my 1,000th video. So I thought I'd do something not really special. I'll do something really special when I hit a, f a thousand official videos, but eh, I just thought we'd do something fun. And if this looks and sounds different, then I'm, uh, it's because I'm shooting this on my new Sony RX100 Mark IV camera. Uh, this is not designed to be a main blogging camera. It's just a nice secondary little compact camera. But the cool thing about this camera is that it does pretty decent high-speed video. In fact, it's probably like the best you can get under like five or 10 grand or something like that. So little pocket cam. Of course, it can't do full HD at a thousand frames per second as all a lot of these videos uh, can do. In fact, I've got the manual here. It can only do 1136 by 384, but that's still pretty good resolution. It's got a great one inch uh, sensor in it. So, you know, decent uh, low light performance, which is what I am in here in the lab even with my studio uh well studio lights you know i turn some extra lights on here it's still you know compared to outdoors pretty low light so we'll see what it can do but a thousand frames per second it'll only record for two seconds uh and it can't record audio but i can do a longer mode with four seconds and it'll do 800 by 270 but two seconds should be enough to have some fun with. but And by the way, it can also do 250 frames per second in basically full HD. Uh, not quite, because the aspect ratio of the sensor is uh, different. It's 1824 by 1026 at 250 frames per second in really good quality from the stuff that I've seen on uh, YouTube. People putting up uh, test videos and things like that. So I haven't really used it yet, but I thought, excellent, high speed stuff, we'll shoot some uh just some random stuff around the lab might even have to go outside the lab if i'm blowing some stuff up don't want to set the uh the fire alarm off here so let's have some fun let's go and here's a vacuum fluorescent display on a Keithley 2400 source meter. And as you can see, you can see it actually multiplexing around like in a circle in different uh, quadrants there. But this is shot at a thousand frames per second. So even that, you might think, well, it should, you know, a uh, hundred frames per second, 200 might be enough. But no, in this case, we need a thousand frames per second to see this. I'll actually slow this down frame by frame. And you can see how each individual uh, segment, because there's only a certain number of drive lines to drive a certain number of segments, how it multiplexes that. And if I shoot that uh, same thing at 50 frames per second, I haven't moved with the camera, but you can see how it is now much uh, wider screen before. So the sensor obviously using a smaller area of the actual uh, sensor itself. But you can see just some uh, flickering on there. You can't really see what it's actually doing, how it's scanning. And here we go, I thought I'd uh, blow a fuse for you. Nothing uh, too spectacular. This is just a one amp fuse, bam. There it goes, here it is again in slow motion, a one amp uh, across my 15 volt, 40 amp capable supply. And here's another, this is a half amp one, across, woo, hey, look, and you see how it actually freezes there. Like it actually uh, solidifies, it melts and then solidifies. This is a four amp fuse, once again across 15 volts. And you can see the smoke starting to escape. Uh, presumably that's from like the solder and the flux left at the other end when they made it. And this one's quite a bit more spectacular. And uh, out inside this one, after you see it cool down, you can actually see like solder ran along the wire and everything else. So that's pretty cool. And I thought I'd just uh, shoot my Sony lens with the optical image stabilization, but it wasn't that exciting. It just moves in slow motion. And of course, we have to blow up the obligatory capacitor. Here's a 470 mic, 10 volt backwards on my 15 volt, 40 amp supply. And there it goes. Woohoo! There you go. You can't beat the laws of physics. And here's another one, a thousand mic, 6.3 volt. Once again, reversed on 15 volts with a 40 amp capable supply. You'll notice the uh, vent holes on the top. It's got the score marks. So you'll see it uh, vent very shortly here it goes starting to wobble a bit that pressure's really building up inside wham there it goes look at that there's so much energy released from that and all the electrolyte look it's boiling that yellowy kind of uh, liquid it's yeah yuck 
but it's absolutely boiled that. And look at this. You can see the individual little bits just spewing out of there. It's, once again, this is at 1,000 frames per second. So that's that's pretty neat. Look at that. It's just boiling. But unfortunately, I couldn't get any to like actually explode into smithereens. Couldn't do it. No luck today. Bloody Murphy. And in case you're wondering how fast that explosion is, here's one frame. There's the next frame. You can see it start expanding. This is a thousand frames per second. And then BAM! Look at that. Wow. And here's an even much bigger one. 6800 mic, 6.3 volts. You can see it fell over there. It was ready to explode. But unfortunately, um, I ran out of my four second time limit. We got one, still venting, still venting. Check it out. Whoa, it was up to like 20 amps. Woo! Still going. Ha <laughs> ha! Unbelievable. Down to one amp. Wow. Magic smoke, there it is. It's almost all gone. Uh-oh, wind's picking up. Wow. That was a beauty. Didn't explode though. Didn't like, you know, like vaporize and everything else. It just uh, vented at the bottom. Because uh, I don't think this one has a vent hole at the top. So, yeah, getting down, getting down. And all I'm doing is putting uh, 15 volts reverse on this. That was a uh, six volt cap and uh, like 2200 mic or something like that yep she's gone so the safety vents on these caps really do do their job i mean look at this bam there it is i mean massive amount of energy being released there all the electrolyte inside is being converted to steam pressure builds up and bam but the capacitor didn't explode i couldn't get a single one to do it actually and here's what happens to a red LED when you put 15 volts across it uh, with basically no current limiting. And let's see that again in slower motion. And you can see, it, yeah, it actually lights up. Parts of the bonding wire light up and then you'll see some smoke escape down the lead, leg. There it goes. Bam. And then the bonding wire, there's like flames right over the bonding wire. Cool. And this 3 millimeter red lead, there it goes. Wham full brightness and i shot this one in the lab actually with uh, a lower um, iso setting so it was reasonably dark that's why you don't see as much uh video noise on there as you uh, might have seen on uh, previous ones in the lab but anyway that's um basically a regular three millimeter red led uh straight across a high current 15 high current capable 15 volt supply and this one's not done yet it's still conducting and there we go, the magic smoke puffing out there. Puff the magic dragon. And I tried some soldering and some other stuff, but it really didn't uh, work out. It wasn't any, in, in any way impressive. Uh, that's uh, partly to do with the uh, macro lens. I haven't really sorted that out yet. It's not good enough. I can't get close enough in for like really detailed stuff. So maybe I can hook it up to my microscope or do some other stuff. Oh, you can see the heat uh, bubbling up the pin there all the way to the top. Look at that. That's, uh, well, it's probably some of the flux um, doing that. But uh, anyway, so that wasn't really successful. So I'm going to uh, try some other stuff. But this was just a very quick quick play around i've ran out of uh, time today but that's hope you enjoyed that little snippet of some high speed stuff if you did please give it a big thumbs up catch you next time